Today's video is sponsored by Simply Safe. There's no safe like Simply Safe. So welcome back to Outdoors with the Morgans. It is a beautiful day today. A little bit warm, but still a pretty nice day. Last night, uh, we had a bunch of storms. They were calling for hail, strong winds, possible tornadoes. Uh, I think the worst of it was south of us. We did get a bunch of rain, though, uh, and a little bit of wind, but nothing too bad. I don't think we lost any trees. But I'm down here at the sawmill today, and I have a pretty nice log on the mill. At least I think so. Uh, we won't know until we open it up. Big old black cherry log. This one should be pretty nice. Uh, now this is a black cherry. There's always some confusion uh, when I talk about cherry trees uh, because a lot of people don't have these where they live and they think of cherry trees like a uh, cherry on top of a banana split. You're not going to get that from this. In Pennsylvania here, there's actually four different uh, species or types of cherry trees. Uh, you've got the American Plum, uh, Pin Cherry, Choke Cherry, and this is the Black Cherry. This one gets the biggest. Uh, this is what they use for beautiful cherry lumber, the Black Cherry. There's a lot of ways to identify uh, the cherry. You have this nice reddish color, but if it's standing in the woods, you're not going to see inside the tree. You can kind of tell from the bark as well. But it can be a bit confusing because when the tree is real young, uh, the bark is pretty smooth. And as the tree ages, uh, it gets like scalier. And you also have like some turned up pieces like so. That's one way you can kind of tell. And you can tell by the leaves as well. I don't have any right here to show you. But uh, let's fire up the mill here and see what this one looks like.
All right, it's looking pretty nice. Really nice, actually. I've got some, uh, we have some family coming over here in just a bit. So I'm going to head up to the house and we'll come back down later on this evening and uh, we'll take a little closer look at this. One thing that I want to talk about when we come back is like the sapwood. Uh, sometimes you find like uh, gum streaks in this cherry. We'll probably see some of that. But yeah, we'll go over this one pretty good. I'll report back in a bit. If you've watched our channel for a while, you know I take home security very seriously around here. And our Simply Safe system is the key component to my security plan, especially this time of year. In the summer months, we're not around as much, and having a great security system like Simply Safe gives me peace of mind when we're not around. Simply Safe's 24/7 live guard protection helps stop crime in real time. 24/7 live guard protection is exclusive to Simply Safe. Professional monitoring agents can see and speak live to intruders in your home, stopping them in their tracks. The Smart Alarm indoor camera is the only indoor camera that can instantly trigger the alarm and deter intruders with built-in siren and live two-way agent audio. The Smart Alarm camera also allows monitoring agents to capture evidence and verify if the threat is real or not. That way you can get priority emergency dispatch. No long-term contracts or hidden fees so you can start or stop at any time. It costs less than a dollar a day, which is less than half of what traditional home security brands cost. Another great thing about Simply Safe installation is a breeze. I had our entire system up and running in a single evening, and it has been glitch free since the day that I installed it over three years ago. Something else to think about as well you can do it all yourself so you don't have strangers coming into your home to install a security system. Bottom line is this, I love our Simply Safe security system. If I didn't, I wouldn't be here talking to you about it today. And like they say, there's no safe like Simply Safe. Save 20% on your Simply Safe security system when you sign up for a Fast Protect plan and get your first month free. Visit simplysafe.com/morgans to customize yours. All right, we're back down at the mill. Let's get a better look at this. <laughs> Put a little water on it. I can't remember actually what I was talking about before I went up to the house, but I think it might have been these uh, little black streaks right here. This one isn't too bad at all. I don't see many. Some of them you get real big, long, and wide uh, black streaks in them. I'm not 100% sure of uh, what causes that. I've heard people say, you know, it's damage to the cambium when the tree's growing and then it heals that way. I've heard people call them mineral streaks, but we can get a pretty nice cross section here. You know, on the outside, you got your dead bark, you got live bark, you got your sapwood right here, and then your heartwood right here. And some cherry trees, the sapwood, this end's been sitting in the sun. You can't see it as well. But this sapwood from the bark ends probably only about an inch. I've seen it where it's, heck, three, three and a half inches. This is really nice. A lot of nice heartwood on this one and not a lot of uh, sapwood. But yeah, cherry is a very, very pretty wood. <laughs> And then the center is the pith. About 13 inches on this end. Thirteen on that end.
Look at that red sawdust in there. Isn't that pretty? And by the way, Levi has been uh, taking this for his garden. Pretty nice stuff. But we have a, uh, we got a real humdinger here. I'm actually not going to uh, finish this tonight. I'm going to think about this a little bit more, uh, what I want to get out of this. But this is a really nice piece of cherry right here. I would never make a uh, production sawyer because every time I saw, I find myself just kind of stopping and staring. But I could get some uh, 15 inch wide, eight quarter pieces with hardly any sapwood at all. You're going to see a wee little bit right there. So that's what I may do a couple eight quarter pieces. And then the rest, uh, four quarter. I'll think about it tonight. There's a lot of wood here to work with, though. About 12 inches by 15. And I already got uh, five or six nice four quarter pieces out of that, 15 inches wide. But anyway, I think that's it for today's video. A couple announcements before we wrap this up. Don't forget this weekend. Uh, Friday and Saturday, Melissa and I will be at the Boonville Woodsman's Field Days. Uh, we'll be there Friday from 10 to 2 at the Woodmiser booth. Saturday, 10 to 2 at the Steel booth. And we'll also be at the, uh, we'll be all over the place. We're going to go see the guys from Split Force, uh, Chris from Wolf Ridge. We'll probably see Andrew from Easton Made, plus whatever else we can find. So there's that. And I also want to thank Simply Safe for sponsoring today's video. And I want to thank all of you for being here. I appreciate it, and I will catch you on the next one.